Welcome. This is item number 28 in the spring 2014 test release for 7th grade TCAP math. Um, this is borderline obsession level territory for the state to have a test that has this many questions about the same topic, but I guess if it's important, it's important. Um, Your Calvin built a model of a bridge. This diagram shows the pole bridge and support cables that he built. So they have this picture in there for whatever reason, just to kind of show you how the overall setup is and how the, the bridge is set up. Large bridges essentially have to work this way, otherwise they'll start to sink in the middle and it'll not last very long. So the support cables are there to maintain the integrity of the design. Uh, the diagram shows two similar triangles representing two of the support cables that are attached to the pole and the bridge. This is the figure that actually matters. You can tell because it has numbers on it. And it's a math question. Uh, the longer the ca cable is attached to the pole at the in the bridge at points that are exactly three centimeters away from the shorter cable. Which value is closest to x, the length of the longer cable? Now this is a little bit, um, if you've seen anything where I've talked about the two, three, fourth situation, uh, analysis of a problem, this is what this is going to be. But there is a little bit of an extra component to it. Not much. I mean it's not like it's going to drive you wild or anything. But just for giggles, two, three, fourth is when you have two items two concepts, two figures, whatever, three numbers, and you need the fourth number. So really it's the two, three, fourth. So anytime these are met, you have a proportion. Two items, I have two triangles. So yeah, here's one. And then I've got the larger version up here. Three numbers, yes, 10, 3, and 7. However, they're using a little bit of a trick setup here. You'll notice that the green um, triangle, has it goes up to 7, but the orange has this 3 on it. But really, it's the whole thing from here to here. So make sure that you mark this out and put 10 centimeters somewhere. Because 3 plus 7 is 10. Uh, it seems like such an easy thing to do, but what's really super easy to do that people don't think about is just to go with whatever number is written there, even though you know what you're doing. The thing about this question and a lot of questions on this test is that, you know, either they were designed just to be tricky, which would kind of make the people who designed them sort of, I don't know, not jerks, but they're doing kind of a move that seems a cheap way to assess, uh, even though really that's kind of what you need to be assessing. Uh, or people just don't pay any attention and think that oh that won't trip anybody up but it will and the biggest thing that you can do to make sure that it doesn't trip you up is to start writing things in so you can see them writing things on paper is a huge part of it no matter they'll go to statewide testing they'll be all on computers you should still have scrap paper in front of you it's ridiculous not to if they expect you to do basic computations which is where you have to solve for stuff anyway enough of my ranting let's get to the proportion itself I'm gonna have one proportion that I'm just gonna set up for the green triangle. So I'm going to have 7 centimeters and I might put height there or something just to remind myself what part of the triangle I'm talking about. And then 10 centimeters. And this is referred to, since it's a right triangle, the distance that's opposite the right triangle is referred to as the hypotenuse. You don't have to know that. You can put the long side if you want. Or you can put hypotenuse. It doesn't matter to me. Now on the other side of things with the orange uh, triangle. The thing I need to do is just make sure information is where it needs to be. If you've seen any of the other stuff, I talk about having sort of a pet hotel where you'll need to put your dogs and cats on different levels of the hotel so they don't fight. So all your dogs go on top or all your dogs go on the bottom. You just don't mix them and you're in good shape. So in this case, my height was 7 for the green one. So for the orange one, I need to put the height on the bottom. The height in this case would be 10 centimeters. Not 3 centimeters, 10. And if you need to prove it to yourself, just there's no way that the longer one can be less. So think about it a little bit before you write it in. That way you won't get tripped up by the ridiculousness. It's almost like you should make them pay for thinking that you're not smart enough to figure that out. But if you go through and don't pay any attention to it, you will fall for it. And then they win. Don't let them win. Who else would make a test? So the other side is the long side, which is, of course, X. So from here, all I need to do to solve the problem is just sort of use cross products. So I'm going to 10 times 10, so I'm doing the numerator times the denominator, and it gives me 100. And then on the flip side of it, 
7 times x gives me 7x. So from here all I need to do is just do a little bit of division. To get rid of times 7 I need to divide, that's the opposite operation. Um, so I end up with, I'll even do it kind of old school. So it's around 14.2, and then this would be um, this, and it'll round up the 14.2. And I'm actually going to stop, otherwise this could go on for borderline forever. Um, but 14.28, which would round to 14.3. So, and if you want to just do it in a calculator, just do it in a calculator. Why would you not? I mean. It's a basic computational question. They're not assessing that skill anyway. So if I had mine, I would just do, um, if I can get it to a place where I'm not covered in pin, otherwise this thing always messes up. I don't know why I wrote an X7 there. Oh, I'm just dividing. OK, I see what I was doing. Ah, I was looking at the wrong step. Da -da. So 100 uh, divided by 7. 14.28, and it would have gone on forever. See why I didn't continue it? So 14.3 is your final answer. So that's it. So anytime you see the 2, 3, 4th situation, analyze the question first, because sometimes it's not as blatantly obvious what you pick. If you need to extend lines out and write the new numbers there, do it. Don't confuse your brain. There's no reason to try to make it more complicated than it already is. The question in and of itself really isn't that difficult. The hardest part is making is forcing yourself to write a few things down and uh, force yourself to sort of look at the problem for what it's really asking as opposed to just what would be convenient if it did ask. And by the way, these other numbers that they give you, I will guarantee that one of them is if you use 3 instead of 10. So you put 3 there. I almost bet that one of them is that, because that's what they do. They pick all the things that you're likely to do wrong, use those answers as the other answers. So be careful. Don't let them win some weird battle over nothing, and uh, that's it.